Hey guys, Crochet and Connect here. It's that time of month again where I show you the last month's worth of patterns from my daily crochet calendar. And I'm also going to show you a couple of books I bought over the last couple weeks. Um, I don't have any finished items to show. I'm still working on that uh, knitted hat that I showed in my last video. Um, I ripped it all out and I'm about five rows in now. I haven't done much work on it. Um, I just haven't really much felt like crafting over the last couple of weeks. I've been doing a lot of uh, reading and a lot of spring cleaning. Uh, speaking of which, I finally found my uh, row counter that I had been missing <laughs> for the last few months. It was actually under my fridge, <laughs> which I discovered when I moved to clean behind it. Um, I should probably clean behind it more often. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I finally found that. So I have two row counters now. The more the merrier. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I have to show you here is this um, knitting encyclopedia. I found this at my local Goodwill store. Um, I have a book that's sort of the equivalent of this for crochet and I saw this at the Goodwill and I decided since I'm kind of getting back into knitting now this would be a good reference to have. Um, it's just a collection of various um, stitch patterns um, to learn and use. So I thought that was neat. Um, this is, is actually a magazine. Um, I don't know exactly what company put this out. Um, Penguin, I guess. <laughs> um, and uh, it's a pretty old one. It's from January 1989, but it has a lot of really good information in it, so that's a good reference to have. And um, the Goodwill did charge magazine price, so I think this was only 99 cents. I think that's what the magazine price was. It definitely was not more than a dollar. Um, it was either 50 or 99. I think it was 99. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. And the other day at um, Value Village, I found this Red Heart Afghans and Crochet Classics book. Um, this book is actually, uh, it's actually a pretty old one. It's still in like new condition, but it was published in 1996. And all the patterns in here, um, they say, are like some of their best, most popular patterns from over the years, from the 1930s to the 80s. Um, and they just published a compilation of some of the most popular ones. Um, and so this was published in 96, as I said. Um, and there's a lot of really nice patterns in here. It is mostly Afghans. Only about maybe 10 or so patterns are not Afghans. Um, but there's a lot of really gorgeous ones in here. I love Red Heart patterns. I had no idea they published books like this before. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really nice things in here. Um, there's a lot of gorgeous afghans. Um, the heart one on the cover I love. Um, the puff stitch afghan. There's a matching mat or rug for that afghan. There's so many really nice. And um, some of the patterns, um, that's a really cute blanket. And some of the uh, patterns have a little blurb about the original printing of the pattern. Um, so just like a little historical blurb of the pattern. Um, I thought that was really neat. I like that. Um, this is my favorite pattern in the book. This sweater is so nice. If I ever had the patience, <laughs> I would make that because um, it's made with really thin yarn and really small hook. Uh, size E and F crochet hooks. And um, I'm not sure if that's thread it calls for, but it looks really thin. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if I ever would, but I really would like to make one of that, those someday if I had the patience. It is so pretty. Um, also, this afghan, I love it. So pretty. I actually am considering making that for a Christmas gift for a family member. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, there's also, there's several other sweaters in here. There's also some Christmas ornaments near the back. Um... Ugly granny swear sweaters. <laughs> Just felt like showing that. Um, there are, there is hat and scarf. That is cute. Um, Christmas tree skirt. Can't really see. That's not a very good picture of a skirt, I don't think. But Christmas tree skirt and matching stocking. And there's also like snowflakes and little angels and all kinds of things. And this is one of my other favorite afghans, um, the tartan afghan. I love Scottish things. I love tartans. Um, 
I'm actually considering making that for myself. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so there's a lot of really gorgeous things in here. Love red heart patterns. So good. And um, Value Village charged $3.99 for that. So that was not a bad deal. Um, and yeah, so all I have now are the April patterns from my crochet calendar. So I showed the first um, April pattern in my last video, um, which was this hot pad. Um, and so the next for April 4th and 5th is a faux cable afghan. Uh, April 6th and 7th is part 2 of that afghan. Uh, April 8th, 9th, and 10th is the Tulip Beanie, um, which is actually designed by Beth in Texas One here on YouTube, which is um, who I learned to crochet from through YouTube videos. Um, and I actually saw this the video she had for this hat before. Um, so I was kind of surprised to see in the video. I'm like, that looks, or in the calendar, I'm like, that looks familiar. And I had to like read who the um, designer was because. I thought that was hers. Um, so yeah, so I'll put the link to... I think she had a video for this hat. I could be imagining things. But if I find the video for this hat, I'll put the link to that down below. Um, April 11th and 12th is part two of the beanie. And then April 13th and 14th is matching uh, wrist warmers. Or fingerless gloves. I don't know what I call them. And then the 15th, 16th, and 17th is part two of those fingerless gloves. Um, April 18th and 19th is a little scarf. Uh, the 20th and 21st is also that scarf, part two. Uh, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th is a filet crochet piece. Uh, the 25th and 26th is part two of that piece. The 27th and 28th is the cutest little ladybug ever. I'm definitely going to make that for myself sometime. It is so cute. Um, the April bonus pattern is a baby set. A little jacket and hat. Uh, it's part two. Oh, wait, there's part two and part three. <laughs> I'm confused there. So that was the bonus pattern. And then the 29th, 30th, and May 1st is a bracelet. Um, that design is called Romanian Braid and is also known as Renaissance Lace. So that's pretty cute. I would consider making that. Um, and yeah, so that's all the patterns uh, I have to show. Um, for this month. So I will see you back here again when next I have a finished item to show or when next I have more calendar patterns to show. So hope everybody's been having a good spring so far and happy crafting.